I'm Peggy Peck at TCT 2008 in Washington, D.C. This is actually the 20th anniversary of TCT, and I'm here today, opening day, to discuss the news that we'll be hearing this week um, with two well-known cardio interventional cardiologists from, the, uh, from Columbia University. First, um, uh, we're going to be speaking to Dr. Roxana Moran, um, who is an associate professor at Columbia University, and she's here with um, Dr. Um, Ajay Kirpine, um, who is uh, an associate clinical professor at uh, Columbia University. Both of them are organizers of this meeting. So let's start out um, with you, Dr. Moran. Um, what do you think is going to be the big news this year at TCT? Well, we're really excited about this year. There, this obviously is the 20th anniversary of TCT as one of the courses that's completely dedicated to interventional cardiologists. And as such, the topics that are covered and, and uh, uh, are, are very much geared towards interventionalists. The, one of the, uh, another sort of a milestone this year is the 30th year uh, anniversary of uh, the first um, intracoronary urokinase for acute myocardial infarction. In fact, there's going to be a session uh, on acute myocardial infarction, just going through the historical perspectives of where we've been and where we're going and how um, primary angioplasty with PCI has um, really saved so many lives now. And, and it really, really is an extremely positive thing for our subspecialty since this really is an area that uh, we've, uh, we've made a huge impact on mortality. Secondly, there will be many, many clinical trials that will be uh, presented, and the late-breaking trials are just going to be extremely exciting. And there will be trials on, of course, acute myocardial infarction, and, and very close to our hearts is the Horizons AMI study. And we're very pleased to present uh, for the first time on Wednesday, uh, October 15th in the morning, we will be presenting the 12-month um, uh, data on the stent randomization arm, which is DES versus, uh, versus BMS for the first time, taxa stent versus a bare stent equivalent in acute myocardial infarction patients, as well as the one-year pharmacology data, which has not yet been seen. So those are all extremely exciting areas that we're looking forward to, uh, to sharing with, uh, with the attendees at TCT and around the world. Mm -hmm. So um, tradition and news as well. And, and what about you? Yeah, I, I would completely concur with uh, Dr. Moran. I think that you know, PCI and interventional cardiology has had some tough times um, in the past couple of years. And in a sense, the 20th anniversary of TCT is a way to sort of, you know, uh, circle the wagons in a sense and, and really reaffirm interventional cardiology because, and I think one of the areas that Dr. Moran pointed out is that acute myocardial infarction is really the hallmark of, you know, why many people go into interventional cardiology. It's some, an area where we definitively know we can save patients' lives and additionally um, make, uh, make differences in their quality of life as well. And with Horizons coming out and with a lot of other studies that we're gonna see here at TCT, I think we all feel very excited and proud um, to be able to celebrate the 20th anniversary of TCT in this manner. In a sense, it's almost a coming out party for um, CRF and too, because Horizons was really a uh, investigator uh, initiated trial um, that uh, of, of this size has not been seen before. And um, people like Dr. Moran, Dr. Stone were instrumental in this trial and uh, we get to hear all about it and enjoy the results. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> tell me, um, uh, I, there's, there's just a, 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 a long, long list of trials being reported here, but <clears throat> it, what, just uh, take out the crystal ball for a minute. What do you think you're gonna learn this week that you're gonna bring back and you're gonna put into clinical practice right away? Well, I think we're gonna see a lot more <laughs> later follow-up data. You know, we're going to see on, on registries, randomized trials, beyond the two-year. I mean, now we're up to three, four-year data on some of these large, large registries out there. The Estrofa registry is one we're going to hear about. We're going to be looking at the Endeavor 4 data at two years. Uh, it's going to be very exciting to see some of these uh, large registries and, and randomized trials with the later follow-ups, because that, that's always been sort of now the new Achilles heel. And you know, as soon as we show efficacy and safety at one year, like we have in the syntax trial, which was shown at ESC, the surgeons come back and say, well, that doesn't mean anything because it's only one year results. So I think now we're gonna see some later data now focusing on the safety and the durability of drug-eluting stents. 
Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I think that that's an accurate, very accurate representation. And I think it's, a, it's something that we in the interventional cardiology feel pretty proud that we've been able to generate this kind of data because certain other fields, they actually don't generate these types of long-term follow-up data in an adequately powered fashion. And for us to be able to come and present and listen to this type of data is very reassuring, not only to practicing physicians, but should also be reassuring to patients as well. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we're going to be hearing a lot about that data tomorrow in the main arena and, we'll, and for the rest of the week. And so I invite you to be back here with us tomorrow at the TCT in Washington, D.C. I'm Peggy Peck, no page today.